Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Server 2003. Before we start, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system. Please try this on an older PC or on a virtual machine first, and back up your files. Now before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the required files which will be linked in the description below. After you've done that, we need to run the setup file to install Service Pack 2 to Windows Server 2003. So we need to double click on the exe file, it'll say extracting files, we need to wait a little bit, and there we go, we're now into the install wizard. So we're going to click next, click I agree, then click next, click next again, and then you need to wait a little bit, it'll take some time. Now that it's finished, make sure this box is unchecked, and then click finish. And then it'll restart your system. After your system's restarted, we need to install the Visual C++ 2012 redistributable file. So we're going to double click on it. Then click I agree the license terms and conditions, make sure the box is checked, then click install, and then click close. And now we need to install the Windows Update Agent. So we need to double click on the exe file, it'll say extracting files, and then we'll be taken to the installer. So we need to click next, then click I agree, then click next. It'll say Windows Update Agent is being installed, you'll need to wait a little bit, it shouldn't take too long. Then click finish. And now we need to install an update for Internet Explorer. So we need to double click on the exe file, click next, click I agree, then click next and this shouldn't take too long. Then click finish, and now we need to set up the WSUS proxy. So we're going to open the folder, and we're going to run the add underscore WSUS command prompt file. So we're going to double click on it, we'll need to wait for everything to finish, and once it does, we can press any key to exit. So I'm going to press enter, and now we're going to run the run underscore WSUS command prompt file. So we're going to double click on it, and then if you get this pop-up, just click on block, and now we need to, and now before we go to the next step, I quickly want to mention what this proxy does. So what this does is it bypasses the SHA2 code signing support check, so we can get updates from the Windows Update server. Now we're not getting updates from a third party server, this is coming straight from Microsoft servers, so these are going to be all the updates that you'd normally get. All this proxy does, as I said before, it just bypasses the SHA2 code signing support check, because Windows Server 2003 doesn't support SHA2. So now on to the next step. So after we've run the command prompt file, we're going to click the start button, we're going to go to control panel, and then we're going to click automatic updates. We're going to set the option to notify me, but don't automatically download or install them. So what this does is it's going to notify us that updates are available, but it's not going to automatically download or install them. It's just going to give us a notification. So we can click apply, then we can click OK, and now we can run the command to fetch updates. And it looks like Windows Update's already working, because some stuff's happening inside the command prompt window. But to make sure that we're going to be fetching updates, we're going to press the Windows key and the letter R on a keyboard, and we're going to type the following command. W U A U C L T space forward slash detect now. Then you can either hit enter or OK. Either way works. If nothing's happened in your command prompt window yet, you should see some stuff starting to happen. If you do, then that means it's working. Please note that this command prompt window needs to stay open when we're installing updates, otherwise this won't work. Because if you close the command prompt window, then our system won't be able to bypass the SHA2 code signing support check, and because of that, Windows Update won't be able to communicate with the servers anymore, and then we won't be able to download and install the rest of the updates. We'll just be left with the updates that we've installed, and we'll have some that are half downloaded. And we won't be able to install the rest of the updates. So now we just have to wait a little bit. It'll take some time to fetch all the updates, but once it does, we'll get a notification in the system tray saying that updates are available to install. After some time, you should get the notification that updates are ready for your computer. So click the yellow shield icon in the system tray, and you'll see a load of updates. We can scroll down and make sure that they're all checked, and then we can click download. And there we go. It's now downloaded all the updates, and now we get the notification saying that updates are ready for your computer. So we can click the yellow shield icon in the system tray, we can click custom install, click next, and we can scroll down and make sure that all the updates are selected. Then we can click install, and then the window will minimize, and then the window will minimize. To view the progress of the updates, we can click the yellow shield icon in the system tray, and we can view the progress of the updates being installed. Now while you're installing updates, if you get this pop-up here, you can click I do not want to participate right now, and then click install. Then click I accept, then click next, and then it'll proceed with the installation. After it's finished installing all the updates, we can click restart now. And there we go, we've successfully restored the automatic updates feature in Windows Server 2003. If you want to check for more updates, then you need to repeat the process. You need to go back to the WSUS proxy folder, and then you need to run the run underscore WSUS command prompt folder, and then you need to run the WUAUCLT space forward slash tech now command, and then you'll need to wait until the yellow shield icon comes up in the system tray. You need to click that, then download the updates, and then once it finishes downloading the updates, you'll install them from there, you restart your system, you can repeat the process multiple times to make sure that you've installed all the updates for your system. So that's it. That's how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Server 2003. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and leave me a comment down below letting me know if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.